Hey, New Hope family, can you believe that it's just two and a half weeks until Christmas? As we think about the Christmas story found in Scripture, it's a story that's filled with miracles, the fulfillment of prophecies, and supernatural events. From a secular point of view, we hear about the magic and the wonder of Christmas. But the true story of Christmas, the birth of Jesus, is supernatural. I'm afraid that we have become so used to and familiar with the story and the songs that we don't even realize what we're singing about and how miraculous and supernatural this event really was. Some people may not believe in it, but it's impossible to miss the supernatural element of the birth of Jesus. There are angels all over the story telling Mary that she will give birth to the Messiah, confirming to Joseph that this baby was conceived of the Holy Spirit and telling him to name the baby Jesus an angel warning Joseph and Mary in a dream to flee to Egypt and telling them it was safe to return to Israel. And then the multitude of angels announcing the birth of Jesus to the shepherds out in the field. Then there's the star that led the Magi from a distant land all the way to Bethlehem, visions that happened through dreams, and a miraculous virgin birth, a fulfillment of numerous Old Testament prophecies, supernatural stuff everywhere in the story. Many miracles surround Christmas. Angels, stars, the dreams, prophecies of virgin birth. But they're just signs that point to the greatest miracle of all. Jesus came to earth. From the world of light to this world of darkness. From the eternal. He came to the temporary. He came from heaven to live with us here on earth. Which is a fulfillment of the prophecy of Isaiah 7.14. The virgin will conceive a child. And she will give birth to a son and will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. The Bible explains it like this. But when the time had fully come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem those under the law, that we might receive the full rights of sons. Christ Jesus, being in the very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be grasped, but made himself nothing, taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness. The Word became flesh and made His dwelling among us. We have seen His glory, the glory of the one and only, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have eternal life. The theological word for this is incarnation. Incarnation literally means taking on flesh. God became a man. The infinite became finite. The immortal became mortal. The creator became the created. Almighty God lived inside a young girl's womb and was born a helpless baby. That's the incarnation. It's the central miracle of the Christian faith. If you believe that God came as a baby over 2,000 years ago with all the supernatural surrounding that event, then you'll have no problem believing the rest of the story that's still being told and played out today. If you believe the incarnation, it's not hard to believe in the resurrection of Jesus. And it won't be hard to believe that he is preparing a place for us in heaven and will keep his promise to return for us someday. I know that you would agree with me that at times, life is just plain difficult. It may at times feel meaningless and empty. You might feel lost and alone. But I want you to know that God still performs miracles. He still operates supernaturally. He's the all-powerful, all-knowing, everywhere-present creator of the universe. And through his supernatural birth, death, and resurrection, Jesus has made a way for us and desires a personal relationship with each and every one of us. Let every heart prepare him room. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Jesus, we thank you for your life. And as we celebrate this Christmas season, may we experience in a new and a fresh way the wonder, the joy, the hope, and the peace that can only come through Jesus. We thank you for your life. We thank you for your love. May your blessings be on your people. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you.